All right, uh, we do have a big sit down in this hour as we continue our build up uh, to the 2024 uh, Zim and Nationals. Uh, they are taking place at the Seven Arts Theatre right here in Harare. That's in Avondale. That's on the 23rd of uh, November. And uh, joining me this morning as uh, uh, bodybuilder Tasha Nendere. Uh, Tasha, uh, uh, good morning and uh, thank you for making time uh, to join us as we continue our build up uh, to. Uh, the Zim Nationals. How have your preparations been uh, going for this year's edition? Well, good morning to you too, sir. And I'm pleased to be here. Actually, uh, it's a good feeling. Well, preps have been hard. I won't lie to you. This, this whole journey requires a lot. Yeah. Uh, from your mental health to your physical health, it all, it all plays a part in this. And up until now, things have been tired, things have been hard. But, you know, if you want to be great, you've got to do things that many people can't afford to do. That's how you reach greatness. And I'm looking ahead to this year's uh, Zim Nationals. Obviously, there's several categories that are on offer. And I'm looking at, at it here now. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, senior men bodybuilding, uh, men's physique, men's fitness, uh, junior men's uh, uh, bodybuilding. Which category are you going to be competing in this year? So this year, um, I'm competing in a men's physique open. So what happens uh, is... Um, Last year, I, that's when I started actually competing in men's physique yeah. open. So I've always been doing bodybuilding until I realized that my, my, my passion might actually be in men's physique. Then I did Zim Nationals last year, and I came second, uh -huh. men's physique open. Then this year I did two shows, uh, Ray Classic came first, men's physique open. Then I did uh, Fitness Physique Africa, came first again. So this year I'm only doing uh, men's physique open, and that's the only category that I'm going to be competing in. Or as somebody who's done both bodybuilding and men's physique, maybe can you try and make, help us understand what the differences are between so, those two categories? So between the two categories, the first difference that everyone notices, you see that men's physique, we wear shorts. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't really focus on legs that much. Uh -huh. And bodybuilding, it's all about that you wear the, the small thongs and all yeah. that. So that's because that's they judged on legs too. Yeah. So it complies on both the upper body and the lower body. But whereas to men's physique, the lower body doesn't have that much marks, so it's all about the upper body, how the upper body looks. So, in short, I would say men's physique is like a beauty show, yeah. whereas you have to have aesthetics for that. Yeah. But bodybuilding, even without aesthetics, as long as you pack the muscle, yeah. you actually take it and bring it home. Uh, so, in terms of how the training regime, obviously, you said uh, there's been a lot that's been going on. What does an average day look like for you in terms of your, your training? Well, an average day to me is obviously there's work in the morning. Then after work, truly, it's just gym. Hmm. Then I hit the gym. Of course, you've got other errands that you need to do in your personal life, but it's work, gym, and I have to follow my dad. So you notice that most bodybuilders, speaking about me personally, hmm. I barely have time to go out because my meals are tracked within certain times, and they all have to be home cooked. Hmm. That is the biggest part of it. Whereas I can't just move around because I know at a certain time I have to eat this type of food. Hmm. So moving around actually disturbs me from all the... Or the preps, and it actually brings my scale back. And also, your peace of mind matters the most. Because how your mind rolls is how the body responds. So, the mind is a very powerful thing to waste when you're in bodybuilding. You can't afford to be stressed. Uh, you did say last year you finished as uh, runners up and that uh, Zim Nationals. Obviously, uh, this year the national tournament uh, returning, uh, Seven Arts Theatre in Avondale on the 23rd. That's this uh, Saturday. This Saturday. Uh, yes. I'm guessing you're gunning for glory this time around. Well, yeah, I'll tell you this. Every athlete, when they diet, everyone is uh, wishing to win. Let's be honest. But with me, what I've done is, even if we don't win the gold, of which I'm hoping I will, even if we don't, um, I've managed to actually beat my last year's look. This year, we're more heavier. We've got new muscle on. We're looking bigger, and we're looking sharper. And I'll be honest, me and my coach have been working really hard on this, and I'm, I'm hoping that we can actually make good things happen on Saturday. Right. And in terms of where bodybuilding is, obviously you talked about the two tournaments that you've won this year yeah. already. You know, how important or how significant is the Zim National, you know, in terms of well, compared to the other tournaments that you compete in uh, throughout the year? Well, with, with me, I don't regard any show as a small show or anything. Every show is a big win to me. But no matter how the turn-up is, to me, if I compete, I'm competing for the best. And I always try to bring the best package. So... Alari, Fitness Physique, and Zim Nationals, all shows are very much important to me. Which are the shows that I had targeted towards the end of year? Of course, we are going to try and uh, bring in another show after the Nationals. If all things go well, I will do uh, South Africa.
Oh, that's fantastic. And in terms of now where bodybuilding as a sport is in Zimbabwe, you know, are you happy with where you guys are? Uh, what areas do you want to see improve maybe in terms of corporate support, professionalization? What are some of the things that you, you know, you have to say, you know what, we're doing quite well, we're competing, we're performing, but we'd like to see these things or these support structures uh, being put in maybe by the National Federation or just even uh, the different stakeholders uh, involved in the sport? Uh, taking it from a point whereby I've been in bodybuilding for the past, let's say, two years, that's when I actually started competing. All along, I was just lifting. I would say from when I started, the sport is really improving. But uh, if we could get more people to support bodybuilding in them, that would be appreciated. Because you see in the States, they bring numbers, they bring volume. People contribute to bodybuilding. What we do is hard and expensive. It's not easy for the board to change that way. It is hard. It takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So I would say if people could see it from a point whereby they would support bodybuilding as much as they support cricket or soccer, I would, I mean, a lot of athletes would turn up and actually appreciate this. But as far as I'm seeing it, a lot of developments have been made, and it's impressive, okay. especially with the Zim Nationals. Also, I see what, uh, what, what we are planning on. It's, it's actually a good thing, and it would be a, a loss to miss it. Uh, and uh, in, in terms of now, uh, just your own career as a bodybuilder, uh, you talked about maybe targeting South Africanness, but what's, what's the big dream? Like, what's, what's, what's the Mount Everest? Well, the Mount Everest, it all ends up in one goal. Create opportunities and, in the end, make a good living out of it. Because it's not all about just stepping on stage. No. It's what then happens beyond the stage. Because people are going to, I'm going to step on stage, you're going to know me, everyone's going to know me, I'm going to be on the papers, but... It's, it all ends up on how you then use that chance and opportunity for you to stage. What then did you then come up to at the end? So with me, I would say bringing fitness, besides the bodybuilding part, I would want to take fitness in a healthier way, whereby I actually encourage more people to take part in this. Because you tend to see that a lot of elderly people are suffering with a lot of diseases like diabetes and all that, and they're getting their body parts dropped, which is not something that I would want in the long run. So I would say in the long run, if I could and God willing, we shall be great. I would want to be one of the guys that will actually help in the bodybuilding industry and them to lift it up because I'm, I'm going through it. I know how it, how it feels. And if we make it in the world, we actually want to be part of how we run these shows. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, the 2024 uh, Zim and Nationals is on uh, this Saturday. That's at the Seven Arts Theatre in Avondale here in Harare. So admission uh, for that is uh, general tickets are going for $10, a uh, VIP $20. Uh, so for athletes, uh, registration for the senior division is just 20 US dollars. And for the junior and disabled divisions, it is $10. So really excited about that. What has been the response from your, your, your colleagues in the bodybuilding industry? How excited are your competitors for this uh, uh, Zim Nationals? You'd be surprised. We've got people coming from South Africa, Zambia, Mozambique, just flopping in so that we can stage together and fight. So it will be, it will be a clash of the titans, I assure you that. Everyone is hyped. Groups are packed. Everyone is talking about it. Everyone is talking about it in the gyms, in the streets. So I think this year, it's going to be a hell of a wild turn up. Uh, and uh, as the papers at ZTN will be hosting the uh, 2024 Zim and Nationals a press conference. It'll be right here at Herald House in the boardroom. Uh, that's here. Our corner, Sam Nuyoma uh, and George Loon, Sam Nuyoma, formerly 2nd Street. Uh, that's on a Friday uh, between 1 and 2 p.m. And uh, that press conference uh, will be live streamed across the ZTN platforms. Uh, Tasha, uh, thank you for joining us. But before you go, maybe just a, a word to people who might be interested in coming uh, or uh, taking part in bodybuilding, your word of advice and your last words. Well, I'd say for people who want to watch, well, it's, it's a good thing to come and just support the, the guys, see them, because I'll be honest with you, it is the crowd that drives you to actually perform that on stage. Once you hear people yelling your name and all that, it gives you the... Just your dropping level rises and you pose better. You try to, you know, perform better than how you actually want it because you'll be weak. You're not drinking water and all that. So getting the crowd to actually come and just show that they're there for you would be appreciated. And for the guys that would also want to take part in bodybuilding, I would say, you know, you control your dreams. No one else controls how you then end up in life. Only you can take part of it. Excuses will drag you down. So for someone who's trying to jump into bodybuilding, they can reach out to me, anyone, all the judges. They will actually help them. And it's not even hard. Muscles can be pegged. It just requires you to be serious, consistent, and give you time because muscles need patience to grow.
<laughs> and if somebody wants to get more information, are you guys available on social media? Uh, where can they find you guys? Yeah, the, the board is available on uh, social media. They never have that. You can, they can actually text or anything. Or we can, I'm sure Mr. Keith has once left his number here. Mm. Or we can give them uh, Mr. Give Moore's number. They can actually get assisted fast. All right, so we'll be posting those details on our social media. And those Patasha, I thank you very much. And all the best in the men's physique category come Saturday. I appreciate you, sir. Thank right. you very much.